more USC hate. Let's go YouTube. Sports is life. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on YouTube? First things first, shout out to my ladies of Choi. Shout out to my men of Choi. Back with another USC video. Uh, so the anger in college football right now is just misplaced. I can't believe the anger that's out there. Especially coming at USC and Lincoln Riley and any player that chooses to transfer to SC. So I was cruising around the internet and I happened to find this, uh, I wouldn't say quote, this statement, this long spew of just disgusting anger and hate. And I'm going to go ahead and put it up by a Mr. Andrew Filippani, the fan, Pittsburgh, radio host, just anger, anger that Jordan Anderson would exercise his right to transfer from the Pitt Panthers and how dare he go to USC? How dare he go to USC? This is, this is what he said. I hope USC loses every game this year. And if I saw Lincoln Riley, I would pick him up over my head and basically slam him. It's YouTube. I don't know if I can, you know, say some of these words. But out of this whole statement, what really got me was Nil is out of control. I disagree. Nil is not out of control. I think it's long overdue. How long have coaches been making 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars over four or five years to coach? And they can pick up and leave and go to another school whenever they want to. It's about time the players are getting some of the money that's in the pot. How long has college football been making billions of dollars? So I'm happy that Jordan Anderson exercised his right to transfer. Do you know what Mr. Filippani didn't say? And here's some more of his quotes. And I was searching for it, but you know what he didn't say? He didn't say that Jordan's quarterback went pro. Kenny Pickett was draft 20th, going to the Pittsburgh Steelers. He didn't say that his offensive coordinator, Mark Whipple, resigned left the program. He didn't say that his next quarterback coming in was Caden Slovis, a bad quarterback. So you want Jordan Addison, highly regarded as maybe the best wide receiver in college, to waste his year, to waste his year, his time, to be a Pitt Panther, when he has the opportunity to play with someone that he knows and Caleb Williams, a superstar quarterback, he sees what's happening. Everyone is flowing, flowing to USC. USC might as well be known as wide receiver U. That's how good USC has been in producing wide receivers. And now you got Lincoln Riley. You know what's going to happen. Everyone knows what's going to happen. That's the reason why Oklahoma was so mad when Lincoln Riley picked up and left. Because we all know what's going to happen. He's going to dominate. He's going to dominate. And what has he been doing? He's been pulling in recruits all over the place. All over the place. It's to the point now where everyone from ESPN, the Sports Illustrated, believes that they're going to be a top 10 team, that they may even make the playoffs, that they're going to no doubt win the Pac-12. I think we're a year off, you know, you got to give them some time to get it all together, but that's how strong the presence has been at USC since they got their guy, Lincoln Riley. And so I think that this anger is misplaced. 
whether it's Nick Saban to Jimbo Fisher to Pat Nar Narduzzi getting angry, calling up Lincoln Riley on the phone because he's mad. How about Pat Narduzzi? How about Pitt? You get a better coach. How about you get a coach that can recruit better? How about you get players that are going to go for the, for the head coach and not for the offensive coordinator? How about that? How about that? So this 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 anger that's that's out there about name, image, and likeness is just misplaced. It's just misplaced, and it 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 it, it, it really does make me laugh. It, it makes me laugh. One of the things that were that was out there um, that Mr. Filippani put out there was that Jordan Anderson is uh, gonna make somewhere around 3.5 million dollars to go to USC. Now, I don't believe that that's the case, but if he is, good for him. Good for him. It's about, these, it's about time these players start making the same money that these coaches are making off of their backs. As I said, how long has college football been making this money off of their backs? Now, Alabama, SEC, outstanding conference, outstanding school. But you mean to tell me all things being equal, you, you give a young man the choice, a teenager, to go to Tuscaloosa or to go to Southern California and be on the beach, all things being equal, you get 1.5 million from Alabama, you get 1.5 million from SC. You think that they wouldn't wanna go to Southern California Miami, Texas, I, th I think that it's naive to think that all things being equal, that a, a, a young man looking to go to the pros, not so much go to college, but looking to get to the pros is going to see who the best coach is out there for him and go to the best place for him. Now, all of these kids are not gonna make it to the NFL. That's why name, image, likeness is so important because all of these guys are not going to make it to the NFL. They're going to go to college. Some of them are, are going to get hurt because it's a violent sport. And it's about time that these high recruits are being compensated, not just by going to college for free. That's what, that's what they've used for so many years. And then finally got taken to the courts and the, and, and the court said, no, this is a capitalist country. It's a free market. You can't be making all this money off their back. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that name, image, likeness, NIL has exploded. I am happy. It puts a smile on my face. <laughs> and it makes me chuckle when all these college coaches are getting angry. Getting angry because kids want to, want to transfer if they're not playing. They've got, college kids got four years to prove that they can make it in the NFL. If they're sitting behind someone, let them transfer. But but college coaches want to stash them behind. They 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 want them to be the, the 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 third quarterback. That's not right. That's not fair. So I'm I'm glad that players have the chance to transfer. I'm glad that these players are having a chance to make some money before they get to the NFL, it puts the pressure on the coaches. It puts the pressure on the coaches. The boosters are starting to pay up. It puts the pressure on the coaches to get the job done, to, to, pay the, to, to play these players. And if, if they're not gonna play, if they don't think that they're good enough, then hey, you need to let them transfer. You need to let them transfer. One last thing. Without name, image, likeness, do you think that Jackson State, Deion Sanders would have got one of the top recruits in the country to go to a HBCU? I don't think so. I think he probably would have went to Georgia or, or Alabama or, or Florida or Texas or wherever. But when you start to level the playing field, it gives the players more options. And that's what I'm all about. That's it, SC fans. That's all I got today. Just wanted to Get that point out there. SC is back better than ever, stronger, getting more players, getting more highly talented players. 
highly talented recruits. It's gonna be a fun year. It's gonna be a fun year. Please hit the like button. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Sports is life.